Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's define the small volume element in cylindrical coordinates. First of all, again, we'll pick some arbitrary point called point P right there, and we'll have a position vector from the origin to that point P right there. Now, if we want to define a very small volume region, a vol volume element dV, in Cartesian coordinates, we used to call that dx times dy times dz, a small change in x, a small change in y, and a small change in z. Here it's a little bit different. It still involves a change in the coordinate system, cylindrical coordinates, which means there's going to be a small change in rho. We go from this position to a position a little bit farther away, a small change in phi, where the angle will change a little bit, and a small change in z, which then forms our volume element. But notice it's not a rectangular box. Notice the front side and the back side is kind of like a curved surface, and we need to find the distance along that curved surface, and that is found by multiplying the distance from there to there, well, parallel to the xy plane, which is called rho, and we need to multiply that distance times a small change in the angle. Here we have a projection of that on the xy plane. Notice this distance right here is equal to the distance from the origin to there times the change in the angle of phi. So this distance is rho d phi. The distance from there to there is a small change in rho, we call that d rho, and the distance from there to there is a small change in z called dz. So in other words, then the volume element then becomes the product of d phi times rho d, uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is d rho times rho d phi times dz. So we have d phi, rho d, uh, I keep calling it phi, but this is d rho times rho d phi times dz. And of course, if you rearrange the terms, it's rho times d rho times d phi times dz. And that is then representative of the small little volume element dv. So this here, we can simply call that then dv. Now also there's often a misunderstanding what we mean by ds. ds is defined as a small change, linear change in the vector r. So when we go from one point, let's say the point p here, to another small point very, very close by, but a small distance away right here, then ds represents that linear distance. It's the magnitude of dr. Basically, when we think about it, it's the change in dr. And if you want to look at it, it's basically on the, up, on the other side, across from this point right here of this volume element. So this is basically the diagonal line to the opposite point, which means to find that distance, we can basically take this distance squared, at this distance squared and at this distance squared and take the square root of that. In other words, ds can be defined as Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions, the square root of this side squared plus this side squared plus this side squared. Or if you want to square both sides, you can then say that the ds squared is equal to the dot product of the dr component, the small change in the position vector, which can then be defined as this, which is what's inside the radical, but not the radical sign since we squared it. So ds here represents the diagonal distance across the volume element, which can be found according to this equation right here. And that's what we mean by the volume element and by the distance from one corner to the other corner in that volume element ds in cylindrical coordinates.